JP Morgan Perspectives Blockchain and Cryptocurrencies 2019 Adoption, Performance and Challenges Executive Summary Adoption progress has been made to move blockchain adoption beyond experimentation and use in payments, but development has been largely confined to use cases like smart contracts, record-keeping and decentralized applications rather than an institutionalized approach. Barriers for blockchain implementation remain significant, including data privacy, security, regulation, scalability, and governance challenges. Blockchain is unlikely to reinvent the global payment system, but instead can provide marginal improvements to various parts of the process. Blockchain solutions making a meaningful difference for banks are at least three to five years away, in our view, with trade finance likely to benefit the most. Digitization of the supply chain is still in its infancy and requires more automated inputs as the blockchain network must include the whole supply chain for maximum efficiency to be realized. Greater progress has occurred outside of the US. The Australian Stock Exchange and Spanish banks are relatively advanced in the implementation of blockchain technology. Performance The cryptocurrency market lost 85% in value from its 2018 peak and mainstream institutional cryptocurrency acceptance remains challenged, with small businesses and individuals as the most logical near-term adopters. The cryptocurrency market has become even more dominated by individual investors, as participation by financial institutions has faded. Bitcoin's cost support likely sits at $2,400 per Bitcoin, below the $3,200 per Bitcoin we had estimated in February 2018, and could fall below $1,260 if a bear market persists, but watch for a halving event. Challenges The asset management industry has yet to gain SEC approval to launch a cryptocurrency ETF and no major retailer has added cryptocurrency acceptance in 2018. Public blockchain mass adoption faces challenges as projects that provide better decentralization and security often lack the required scalability, while those that provide better security lack the desired decentralization. Scalability remains the main obstacle for mass adoption, limited by the decentralized nature of platforms, like Bitcoin on Ethereum, and security considerations. The potential for fraud and manipulation, lack of market size and lack of regulation of the underlying products remain barriers to scalability. Cryptocurrencies value as diversification remains unproven in most environments other than a dystopian one, marked by loss of faith in all major currencies and the payments system. Blockchain and cryptocurrencies Adoption, performance and challenges progress has been made to move blockchain adoption beyond experimentation and use in payments, but development has been largely confined to use cases like smart contracts, record-keeping and decentralized applications rather than an institutionalized approach. Barriers for blockchain implementation remain significant, including data privacy, security, regulation, scalability, and governance challenges. Blockchain is unlikely to reinvent the global payment system, but instead can provide marginal improvements to various parts of the process. Blockchain solutions making a meaningful difference for banks are at least three to five years away, in our view, with trade finance likely to benefit the most. Greater progress has occurred outside of the US. The Australian Stock Exchange and Spanish banks are relatively advanced in the implementation of blockchain technology. Most development efforts at enterprise blockchains, private or consortium, for software technology are being driven in-house. Digitization of the supply chain is still in its infancy and requires more automated inputs. The cryptocurrency market lost 85% in value from its 2018 peak and mainstream institutional cryptocurrency acceptance remains challenged, with small businesses and individuals as the most logical near-term adopters of cryptocurrency. The cryptocurrency market has become even more dominated by individual investors, as participation by financial institutions has faded. Cryptocurrencies value as diversification remains unproven in most environments other than a dystopian one, marked by loss of faith in all major currencies and the payments system. Bitcoin's cost support likely sits at $2,400 per Bitcoin, below the $3,200 per Bitcoin we had estimated in February 2018 and could fall below $1,260 per Bitcoin, if bear market persists, but watch for a halving event in year 2020. Far from an institutionalized approach a year ago, we published a primer that analyzed various aspects of blockchain and cryptocurrency to gain insight on this market and its potential evolution. CD Crypting Cryptocurrencies, J. Loeys et al., the 9th of February 2018. Since then, JP Morgan researchers, with a wide range of sector expertise, 
have been writing about how this market is developing and continue to update their views on its potential for the coming years. We argued last year that blockchain technology for example, distributed ledger technology, DLT by itself has great potential to simplify and speed up transactions and information transfer, but we were not convinced that its real value lies in its first foray into the world of currencies. We maintain this view. The 85% drop in the value of cryptocurrencies since their $800 billion market cap peak a year ago, reversing much of the 20-fold boom in 2017, may indeed reflect broader skepticism on cryptocurrencies, but obscures the progress that the fintech and broader technology world have been making in coming up with many new use cases beyond the world of currencies. We define use case as a test case for how to use a new idea or technology. Use cases are the first step to implementation, but not the same as full implementation, as we describe in this report. In this report, our analysts assess the developments in blockchain and cryptocurrencies over the past year, examining commercial viability and barriers to implementation. Blockchain adoption has been largely limited to use cases as cost efficiency, scalability and regulatory challenges remain substantial. Consider donating to support the show. The Alpha Wave podcast seeks to bring value to its listeners. Help us help you. One way to support the show instead of donating outright is to become a patron on Patreon. You can also purchase one of the high-quality battle-tested and trusted wallets we endorse through our affiliate links in the description, such as a Nano S or Nano X Ledger or Cool Wallet. Completely free ways to support the show include signing up for an account at one of the exchanges we endorse like BitMEX, Binance, KuCoin or the COSS exchange. All links are in the description. Sign up for BitMEX through our link, and in addition to being able to short or long Bitcoin and Ethereum with as much as 100x, or 50x, leverage with profits paid out in Bitcoin, you also get 10% off trading fees for 6 months. Finally, you can support the channel at no cost to yourself and even get paid $5 to do it, when you download the Brave Browser through the Brave Browser affiliate link in our description. If you download the Brave Browser you'll receive $5 of the basic attention token. This show exists entirely through community support, so if you get any value out of the show we encourage you to contribute.